aid that keeps beleaguered soldiers. He brings a girl with him. Fight with everything you've got! Not yet. Blind works off pretty well. <laughs> Takes a while to get to Run! must be the one that lit the signal fires. Help me free the recruit so they can raise this catapult. Over here. Excellent. Let's protect the recruits while they raise the catapult. how I'm looking now. Your kind of looks cool.
We did it! The catapult is raised! Great. Before the wind. Report that more of those wretched demon hell bearers will be here any moment. The soldiers need to be protected. The platform will rise more quickly if we don't lose men. I'm not anymore. Oh, I couldn't save him. Us now. As am I. It is as it should be. Lieutenant, are you alone? Of course I'm 
bloody well alone. Everyone else has gone and died, but I'll be damned if I'll leave my post. Make yourself useful and spin that winch. Mistake. I thought you came over here to help lift this catapult. I didn't realize you were here for the bloody scenery. Apparently, he's completely blind, seeing I'm overwhelmed here. Trying to get this. Not yet. I uh, promised Captain Ho I'd watch my temper. Do me a favor, and don't mention that I shouted at you a little, alright? <laughs> oh, I just returned back. Okay. I'm returning to town. With your paltry catapults, my demons breach the depths of your keep. Once they've claimed the Black Soul Stone for me, your entire world will burn. Well, not better. Let's destroy this. Should probably be giving better stuff to her. The demons are in the keep. They're coming up from the depth. To arms! To arms! Let's have another story from your past. I was once lost in the dry steps. They don't come by their name lightly. No water and the sun. An unbearable, unblinking eye. <sighs> in my delirium. I decided that it would be cooler without any clothes on. So I wandered for three days. My skin, ruby red. Until I fell directly into a lucky oasis. Ah, to this day. I don't know if the stranded harem I found there was anything more than a wonderful and tremendously wicked hallucination. <laughs> uh, but who cares? Nice. I would ask if you're all right. There is a disgusting, slobbering, fat oozing demon in your future. But there is always time for romance. You really should find someone. Do you know what is happening here? How can you speak of romance? Trust me, you'll appreciate having a loved one to come home to when you're done saving the world. Are you that someone? You want to talk to me? All right, see so what you got to say. That's not what I want to click on. Asmodan's demons have opened an enormous hole in our walls and are flooding into the depths. If it is not closed, the keep will be overrun. Then I will seal it. I bring word from the king of Westmarch. I knew Zoltan Kuhl was special from the moment I met him. He had a keen mind for the arcane. During the hunt for the three, he was the bearer of the soul stones, and must have studied them intently. Though it is an aberration, the black soul stone is a testament to his genius. The black soul stone was created to be an improvement over the original three. They were crafted to contain single demons, but Kool intended his to hold many. But the Black Soul Stone is flawed and cannot contain that many demons for long. We must capture Asmodan within it and shatter it, lest all these evils be reborn. 
Of the many things I find intriguing about humans, the greatest is their endless thirst for knowledge. Angels believe that everything there is to know is written in the scroll of fate. Therefore, curiosity is not a common angelic trait. Ironically, my suspicions have been confirmed. Angels do not, in fact, know everything. Seeing the world through mortal eyes has given me much to ponder. Once again, filled with the thrill of battle. It has been too long since I have raised my blade against the forces of the Burning Hells. I remember countless battles within the heart of Pandemonium, as my brethren and I risked everything to drive the demon spawn back to their hells. Must have been a sight to see. It was. Glorious and terrible. We waged our eternal conflict since the light first broke upon creation. But now, for the first time, it feels as if its end is in sight. You are a great warrior. I'd say you know a bit about war yourself. I do what I can. Imperius himself would have been hard-pressed to hold these walls as long as these soldiers have. This world owes them a great debt. Imperius? Imperius is the Archangel of Valor. It is he who commands the legions of the High Heavens. Has the conflicts between Heaven and Hell ever come close to an end? We thought we had lost everything at the Fifth Battle of the Diamond Gates. The Prime Evils and their legions crashed against the very entrance of Heaven itself. But one of my most trusted lieutenants, Iswal, turned them back. Still, the day might have been lost had the Demon Lords not fallen to fighting amongst themselves. So confident of their impending victory, they turned on each other over the spoils they had yet to win. I shudder to think what the Demon Lords might accomplish should they ever stop betraying one another. Such is the self-defeating nature of evil. Yep. Oh, okay. No oh, pathing. I see a foul darkness gathering around us. The forces of hell will soon overwhelm Leah. Does the soul stone shatter? Do the demon lords break free? No. You help Leah contain the energy within the stone, but the cost to her is high. See if we can talk to Leah. Your daughter suffers. It must be difficult to witness. Everyone suffers, but to do so for a cause greater than oneself, that is the mark of a true hero. My daughter is everything I hoped she would be. This stone is vibrating. I can barely hold it. Their voices, they're screaming in my head. Will Leah be able to resist the stone's evil? She must. Clearly the stone wasn't built to contain six demon lords indefinitely. Only Leah's will holds it together. Stay strong, Leah. I will kill Asmodan quickly. I wish we could do more for Leah. Maybe I could hold the stone together for a while. That is her burden. Ours lies on the battlefield. Very well. I'm glad this is almost done. I don't... I don't think I have much time left. You can endure this, Leah. Think of your hopes for the future. You're in, perhaps. No. You were right. There's no safe place for anyone. Look around us. If this keep can't protect us, what chance would a silly little inn have? Cain would be proud, Leah. 
Just hold on a little longer and think of your dreams. When this is over and you can build your inn. The demonic rage is building up again. But I can do this. I know I can. Thank you. Yep. Little pep talk. Light be damned. I've been fortunate enough to learn much of the barbarians' complicated history in my time. Yet the origins of these large, mighty warriors are hazy at best. Legend holds that they are the offspring of Bull Kathos, an ancient who embodied their ideals of strength, bravery, and courage. Like a room. for you, friend. <laughs> It pains me to think of what she is going through now.
what I have trained for. Nice. Shaft before the wind. Not yet. Cynic thing. Oh, there's a room. I know. My dead end. Oh no, it's not. Don, go down. Not ready yet. I want the hurts. Uh, the spot over here. Let's go look at that. Children of Bull Kathos settled in the northern steppes, an area that is now known as the Dreadlands. Theirs was primarily a nomadic and tribal culture, though they had a few permanent settlements such as Cesaron and Haragoth. A group of revered former warriors known as the Elder Council ruled the barbarians 